Welcome back guys to this amazing episode of Christianity over Islam with Sam Shaman and on today's debate, the Muslim sees the issue with Allah praying to himself. You can argue all you want until you see the truth that is confronting you from this debate. Let's watch this video. Did Jesus pray to the Father? Of course. Not? He's not the Father. He prayed because prayer is communication, right? Uh, in a way, yes, but it's more than communication. But you have a problem. Be careful. Don't go that far. Because see, when Muslims ask, they don't study their deen too carefully. Because if prayer means Jesus can't be God, he's a creature, a servant, Abd, your Quran and your, when you do your salah five times a day in tashahud, you admit your God prays, Allah prays. You know Arabic, right? Yeah, yeah, I know Arabic. Okay. When you say in your, not tashahud, I'm sorry, in your salah, but yeah, even your tashahud, in your salah, when you say, when you pray to Allah, you pray to Allah to send upon Muhammad and his family like he did Ibrahim and his family, right? Yeah. Okay. Repeat in Arabic slowly that part of the prayer. Do you know it? No, no, I understand. Your, your okay. idea is that we're praying to... No, 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 no. Allah is praying. You yeah. ask Allah to do what for Muhammad and his family? No, I know the argument. It just says that... Uh, Barakah and Salah, right? Yeah. Okay, wait. So you ask Allah, Allah, you say, Salli, Salah, send your Salah upon Muhammad and his family like you did Ibrahim and his family. And Allah, send your Barakah upon Muhammad and his family like you did Ibrahim and his family. So there, in your five times prayer, you're telling Allah, send his Salah and Barakah. Barakah means blessing. What does Salah mean? No, I, uh, I get it. Sal Salah is uh, prayer. So basically, God is praying for Muhammad. You got it. So it. Ah. Yeah. And then in Surah Al Azab, 33, verse 56, it says, Allah and his angels, what do they do? You <laughs> Salli, right? Yeah. Upon your Prophet and you who believe, pray for him also. So in 33, 56, it says, Allah and his angels, you Saluna, Al Nabi, right? Yes, I know, but I don't know how this relates to the question. Who does Allah? All right, guys, and welcome back. Before we go back to this amazing video, he said that Jesus prayed to himself and Sam Shaman tried. I mean, Jesus prayed rather to God, to his father. And Sam Shaman is trying to give him an answer that um, prayer is a communication between Jesus and the father. And if you are, as a Muslim, if you are saying that Jesus prayed because he is a creation, then your Allah also prays. So that means that your Allah is a creation. Let's get back to this video as Sam Shaman tried to give us the answer. Oh, pray to. Who's Allah praying no, to? No, like... Um... It relates to the question. Jesus prays to the Father because he speaks to the Father. But if you're saying, well, no, if he prays, that means he's worshipping, he's a creature. Then Allah is a creature because Allah prays. So who does Allah pray to? He's praying. Honestly, I, I don't know. I okay. think it's just um, you know an Arabic language thing. Or, How? You know, there's there's some disagreement. I, I'm not like okay. Well, hold on, brother. Look, before just... you go, on, I know you're not Arab. No, no. Think about it. It says Allah and His angels pray upon the Prophet, and you who believe pray upon the Prophet. So Allah and the angels are doing salah. So what do you mean you don't know? It's they're both doing this act. They're both doing salah. So when I ask you, when the angels do salah. Who are they praying to? You're going to tell me Allah, right? Yeah. And then when it says believers, pray, you suddenly pray, pray upon the Prophet. And I ask you, when you pray for your Prophet, who do you pray to? Uh, no, we, we, we pray to God to pray okay, for... Okay, so you yeah, pray to God. Yeah, yeah. So when Allah does prayer, when He does Salah for Muhammad, who does He pray to? Angels, when they do Salah, they pray to Allah. When you do Salah, you pray to Allah. Allah, when He does Salah, pray, who does He pray to? It doesn't make sense. I get the exactly. point. Exactly. Yeah. But it makes sense for me as a Christian. Jesus, Son of God, He prays to God the Father because prayer is communication and He's also man in Son. And as man, He becomes the perfect Abd of the Father, the perfect servant of the Father. So is it is it basically God praying to God or God, uh, God uh, communicating with God? Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, if God is more than one person, meaning person, not like you and me person, no, no, I get it. Yes, so it's Jesus, the Son, praying to the Father, and the Father and Son together have the that the nature of God. So it's not God praying to Himself; it's the Father speaking to the Son, Son speaking to the Father, and together they have the same nature, the same that, and the same sifat. See, as me, I can understand how if God is more than one person, these persons of God can speak to one another. But if you're telling me Allah is one, not just one in His that. He's also one as a person. He has to be praying to himself. So is he praying to himself? Is Allah praying to Allah to himself? Uh, 
Uh, probably not. I, I, like I said, I think it's uh, language. So it's a worse problem for you than me. That's what I'm saying. It's a worse yeah, problem. Yeah, no, no, I understand. I, I completely understand. I don't know how Muslims don't really pay attention to it, but I, I know I know what to say. Welcome back, guys. That was a very fascinating and very educating and thought-provoking from Sam Shemon right there. If Jesus prayed because you say that he is a creation or he was created, then your Allah prays. Does that mean that Allah is a creation then? If Allah is a creation, who created him? And Allah and his angel prays upon the prophet. If an angel is praying, we will understand that he is praying to Allah. If you as a Muslim prays, we understand that he or you, you are praying to Allah. But at this point, if Allah is the one that is praying, then who is he praying to? And if Allah is one, you claim Allah is one, if he is praying, and who is he praying to? Can you see where the issue of Trinity will come up if we try to elongate or to prolong this debate? The issue of Trinity will come here. If he's praying, it means that he's praying to someone higher or equal to him. The answer Shamo asks a very important question Who is Allah praying to? Guys, let's know what you think in the comment section. Let's know about what you think about this debate and don't forget to share this amazing video with your friends and your family and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this see you in our next video